Number 10. A scuba diver training in a pool looks at his instructor as shown in the figure. What angle does the ray from the instructor's face make with the perpendicular to the water at the point where the ray enters? The angle between the ray in the water and the perpendicular is 25. All right, so let's just expand on this normal right here in black. So what there, and let's just highlight the important, the, the, the this, there's too many things going on. Okay, this is what's important here. Okay, this angle, this is known as the angle of incidence. Okay, and this now is known as the angle of refraction, not reflection. Angle of reflection would have been in that direction. Okay, the angle of refraction. Now the angle of incidence will not necessarily equal the angle of refraction, okay? As you can kind of see from the picture. Now, what they're telling us here, the 25 degree angle is the angle of refraction. That is what they're mentioning, okay? That is 25 degrees. So what, and what we have to do is we have to find the angle of incidence. So in order to do this, we can use Snell's law, okay? This says that the index of refraction on one side, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this the incidence side multiplied by the sine of the angle that's made with respect to the normal on the incident side. Remember, the normal is the perpendicular line relative to a surface, okay? So I highlighted these uh, the relevant angles. Is equal to then the index of, uh, index of refraction, all right? Um, and then multiplied of, of the refracted ray, I should say, and then multiplied by the sine of the angle of the refracted ray. So we are after solving for this, right? That's what we're after. That's what they're asking us, the angle of incidence, basically. So divide the angle of incidence, ref, uh, the angle of refraction of the incident ray, okay? And then what you gotta do is do the inverse sine of both sides, right? So you can simply solve this then. The incident now angle is gonna equal sine minus one of this whole thing, okay? That whole thing. So. What's the uh, angle of, what, excuse me, what is the index of refraction of the refracted part? Well, this is water, right? So what we got to do is go to our table and find water, okay? Liquids, here's water, fresh. So 1.333, that's the index of refraction there. So 1.333 times then the sine of the refracted ray, which was 25, divided then by the index of refraction here, and that's the index of refraction of air. Now, air turns out to be very, very close to one. All right. I mean, you can basically just, it's not going to change much. Okay. So I'm just going to plug in one. If you want to plug in that more exact value, be my guest, be my guest, be my guest, be my guest. I'm going to stop singing. So sign. All right. We make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Okay. So inverse sign of one point. 1.333 times then the sine of 25. Close the parentheses. You don't have to divide by one, right? So this is just 34.3. Yeah, 34.3. 34.3 degrees. That's the incident ray. Then notice it is larger, okay? And that's basically a trend, all right? As the, uh, as the index of refraction here of this medium gets larger, the ray bends toward the normal, okay? Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, if you can, give us a hand, like, and subscribe. Check out some more of our videos, and I'll see you soon. Take care.